Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode, Bob was sent after our crew. Fortunately, he failed. <laughs> Unfortunately, he was saved and I'm sure he's okay somewhere. We also kind of learned what the MacGuffin does, but I have no idea how Elita is supposed to use that to save the world. Oh my god, this is what we saw last episode. There's a pretty easy fix oh for god, this. Oh god, I don't want to see Connor blow up again. This is depressing. Oh no, Connor. 12 o'clock. Oh god. Hey. This is so sad. And they just watched this the entire time. How could you not have a problem with this? You know what you're doing must be wrong. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's what's going on. I'm here, man. I'm right here. I feel right. bad that Grace died, but my sympathy for her is very low. Who was that? Does she work for the RI? There's been a murder in Sackville Street involving a peripheral and a coid. That's 14 words, Beatrice. I would have thought the RI would stop the police from investigating, unless she's working with them and <laughs> they're trying to catch Lev. Clarity seemed to require the surfeit. Victim is the Research Institute's head of security, one Daniel Cook. It's lovely, isn't it? Almost like a picture. Well, I suppose we best get oh, busy. Oh, it is. Hilarious, Beatrice. You got jokes. With no plates and no color? Cars were cloaked with this chromatic tin. I'm supposed to know what that is? It means they're invisible. Look, can I just get the keys and check the lot myself? You know I can't do that. Chain of custody. Take that up with Sheriff Jackman. Sir, you need to go to the hospital and get checked out. You were in a terrible car accident. You might have concussion or brain damage or something. Look here, Tommy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to take some time off. Paid leave. That man is loose on my watch, sir. Oh, I'm well aware. And all that's gonna get sorted. I'm gonna see to it myself. What? <gasps> he saved him? It was that guy? I don't remember what the shoes look like. Oh my God, it was. Or Tommy might be hallucinating or have brain issues. But he seems like the kind of dick that would do that. I don't trust that guy. Don't they have like a picture it's of her It's just so everywhere? different from where I live. Hey, how come everybody here just stays so distant from us? Is it like a- They're not real. A health thing or something? Do this. Wow. Mood enhancer, I suppose you'd call it. True. Makes the world a bit less bleak. True. Oh, wow. If the RS doing shit like this right out in the open, what are they doing in secret? Oh, girl, you have no idea. And if the RI can actually control people's moods, their feelings, their conditions, then they don't actually have to fix anything. You can just live in your delusion and not worry about anything at all. I still don't know how this is supposed to save the world, but I guess Alita knows something we don't. When Alita pressed my up against that thing, I felt something. Is there any way that Alita could download a data into the stub? Theoretically, but she would need to download it into something in your world. Did she put it in the computers where she works at? Or in Flynn? Is that what the infection is? You see, the guy who built this, he assured me that it was better than anything you could ever do. He promised me my money back. If I could prove him wrong. So I figured, hell, why not give you a shot? Playing it as if it was an actual game is working out well for her. She's a good gamer. <laughs> I guess that's why she was hired in the first place. We have a new add-on I'm rather tickled by. Titanium fingernails, retractable. What about eyes? What if I want to replace one? With a human eye? Do you know what happened, sir? Do you know where Alita is? 
And do you know what or who she put the MacGuffin in? Give it a rest. Thank you. Before he gets both killed. Thank you. If she was trying to kill you, she would have. What do you think they do to me? Who? The neoprims. She had me build it so someone could carve out its eye, put in a human one. Who else but a neoprim would know to do that? Old time oh, surgery and a scalpel. Is Alita working with the neoprims to stop the RI from controlling everybody? How can you stand by and just ruin somebody's life? <clears throat> like they don't matter at all. It's disgusting. She didn't even stand by. She actively destroyed him. Someone called you. I'm, I'm, I'm just here to get a, uh, you know. What, Maggie? <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Why would you say coffee? Say beard. Why they don't just come out themselves? Scared to? You ain't scared. <laughs> what? Yeah, a little bit. I really like Connor. He's an actual sweetheart. Once you get through all of the <laughs> gruff outside, he's very kind and very sweet. Just clamp it on. There you go. That's it. Flynn's piloting a real body in a real place. It's my understanding. Is there a time limit to how long you can go there? I was in the bed for eight months, catheter for the pen. IV for oh, the drinking. Trying to live in there. This is so sad. I feel bad for Connor, man. This is depressing. Your real body, your body here would take too kindly to that, man. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, you will wither away. I don't know how long he lasts. Is what I'm saying. And Flynn already has brain issues. We don't know what's going on with her. So if you can't imagine what it's like to wake up and find yourself in a body like this, probably just because you ain't tried. So why don't you think on that for a bit? That is so creepy. Should they even be building this? If I was Lev, I'd be super scared right now. Like, the RI has your DNA. <laughs> we know Sharice is a murderer. And now the police is after you. I'll be treading lightly, doing as little as possible. You're concussed. Thank you. Probable whiplash. Gonna need a CT scan. I uh, took bigger hits going over the middle in high school. Sir. This is actually very bad. You need to sit down. I think you need to let that go. That was my arrest. In my custody. I can't just let that go. You didn't. You almost got killed. A lot of people here are bad. Listen to your soon-to-be wife. Know who did this, Tommy? Take the medical leave from the department. I agree. Lay low. Buy some time to pick up. Move on. This is my home. I grew up in this town. You might get killed in this town. The people surrounding you are bad people. <laughs> Everyone here is terrible. I ain't running from this. Like I said before, he's not long for this world. Well, sir, your timing is perfect. What does it do? Blessed are they that have not seen and yet still believe. No one respects the flame quite like the fool who's badly burned. Which school do you belong? The latter. <laughs> The rock and roll school, apparently. What if gas is much? Oh, uh, it's adjustable. One through ten. That was a four. Three. It's so much scarier when terrible people act like they're okay. What do you think? Be honest. It's good. You know the best way to tenderize meat? What? Beat it? I prefer a brine. It alters the very nature of what you consume so it suits your taste. Are you brining him right now? Someone is in my kitchen up my brine, and I want to know who it is. He doesn't know either. <laughs> it was a stranger that hired him. Burton said you had another flashback. Bad one. You taking anything? No, it don't help. Let me drain some off. Well, that's not your problem no more, Leon. How about I sing then? He's taking his memory and things. 
this is so tragic for everyone involved. Connor wouldn't want to feel like a burden and the rest of them will want to help, but really don't know how. It's just sad. And as a nurse, you can't have to look look now to search the man or the seashore. You don't need any feel over now. Aye. Send a pillow. He said it is long as a smooth as she So is the MacGuffin the infection? Can you do that? <laughs> Can you put data in people? And how are they going to get it out? Would you introduce me to Mr. Zubov and Mr. Netherton, please? It's Inspector Ainsley Lobier of the Metropolitan Police. Oh, so that's why they're called the Mets. I don't know why I thought this would be more grand or important or something else. Call my father's solicitor. The phones have been disabled. It might be prudent for me to slip out the back. She knows you're here. She mentioned Jeez. your name. <laughs> Great. Everything is a disaster. I don't think he thought this would go badly. And he didn't have a plan for an aftermath. Whatever you do, don't lie to her. You'll most likely find it impossible anyway. Complete disaster. I would have just assumed something would happen and have people on deck just in case. And talk to a lawyer or something. Whole thing just went sideways. Man, you fucking lost him. Hey, now, hold on a second. All right, I wasn't like that. I got T-boned, Burton. And I'm trying to tell you it wasn't an accident. I feel like both of you are being very obtuse. You should already assume that it is Corbell. Which leads me to believe that Corbell Pickett now has our guy. <sighs> Come on, man, what the hell I is going on I think you should tell here, him. You know what, tell me why don't you just do yourself a favor and get the fuck out of the way. You should tell him. It'll be much safer if you tell him. He's gonna get himself killed. There's other forces in play, want us dead, and you just keep Other forces? The, fuck, the fuck am I supposed to do with Next ambush. You might not be so lucky. He's the type of person that doesn't let things go. He's not going to let it go. Telling him would be much better. I know you aren't inclined to do much chatting. Here's the thing. Corbell bet me I couldn't get you talking. He's offering to buy me a particular baby blue Mustang convertible. I'm thinking maybe you and I could put our heads together and come to some sort of understanding. I would not trust her. She could be more dangerous than Corbell. You agree to do a little talking, and I offer something in exchange. Is that salt water? So that right there would be 200 gallons of fresh water you're looking at. She is smarter than you think. I don't feel any shame to say so. Don't underestimate her. She is extremely dangerous, I believe. Fresh water. Hey! Actually, still smart. Will it short circuit his collar? <laughs> I should not have underestimated you, Bob. Of course you got out of here. I want him and Burton to team up. Work with our gang. But I wonder if it might make sense for my family's solicitors to join us. It's your decision, of course, but... That means it is not up to you. And again... Lev is not ready for this. I could put Mr. Netherton on trial as an accomplice. Seven or so minutes from now, we'd likely witness poor Mr. Netherton's execution. You two are old friends, of course. But it's always intriguing to me how the power of sentiment begins to slip away when a sharp blade is at one's throat. Sir, calm down. Shouldn't you be, like, much better at this? I know they can kill all of you, but I need you to calm down. You've done rather well for yourself, Mr. Murphy. Considering the frequency of your youthful encounters with the law. Is Lev a neoprim? <laughs> I feel like he's not. But a part of me kind of think he might want to be. And Alita may have used that. All right, then. <laughs> the Met has detected three peripherals on site. Would you summon them, please? I'd so enjoy a quick peek. And they're operators, too. This is terrible. And when would you like... Now, Mr. Zubov or soonest although as close to now as possible <laughs> it would be my decided preference <laughs> i can see why they're scared she's very imposing and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty it's in the box present from our friends in the future sometimes i feel like i was all this gonna stuff ask that how come he doesn't have folks like Makes people feel better Thanks. when they see me coming without actually being of much use. There's a difference between not wanting to use them versus them not being useful. And even though you may not want to use them, they can still help you, Connor. Like, I think it will make things a little easier for you. I got rid of one. Waiting for me. Off in the future. You can't live in the future. Those first days in the hospital, you remember me coming to visit you? A little bit. That thing you asked me to do, that fucked me up pretty good, Connor. <laughs> that I asked? That I couldn't do it? 
This actually makes sense why Burton wouldn't come around. That has to be a lot to deal with. And you know what? The more I see of Connor and our peeps, the more I'm like, Grace deserved what she got. This thing you're thinking of trying with the catheter in the IV, it's a lot like putting a pillow over your face or eating a bullet. That's true. Your body is going to wither away. London's calling. They're wanting us back. Allows you to communicate with the past. Or rather, a past. Since yes. in our actual past, you didn't. I know. It's so confusing. The act of connection produces a fork in causality, the new branch causally unique. Wouldn't one expect the fork's new branch to continue to grow? That's we what I'm thinking, exactly right? That. I'm not sure where the term Imperialism. Might... Those people in the new branch now exist and they will lead their life. <laughs> We're creating a multiverse here, right? And you facilitate Mr. Zubov in this colonialism. They're crowning. Inspector Ainsley Lobe. Where the shenanigans the begin. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> it was great getting to know Connor more. Burton and Connor's relationship is so sweet. And the entire group, actually, they care deeply about each other. And I feel bad for all of them. Their lives have been ruined because people wanted to do a stupid experiment. This whole thing is just tragic. So every time the future makes contact with the past, they make a new timeline. So when the RI experimented on Connor, did they make a new timeline? Or is this the original timeline because they didn't physically or directly interact with the past? The timeline that we're seeing right now, is this the original timeline or is there another timeline where nothing happened to Connor, they went to war, they came back, everything is okay. Is there a timeline where Connor didn't get blown up? And is what we're watching a random timeline? <laughs> Are all of these people going to die by the end and this doesn't matter at all? Um, Lev does not know what he's doing. I feel like he should have seen this coming. He should be more aware and thoughtful, especially when he knew he was trying to steal from the RI. I do have two thoughts on Lev. One, he is a greedy douchebag who sees the multiverse as, you know, a third world country, like they said, and they do want to use them and experiment on them and all of that jazz. Two, he is a neoprim or neoprim adjacent. And that's the one that I'm leaning towards. And that's because he has different people in his orbit. When it comes to the neoprims and the MacGuffin and Alita, I think their plan is to use the data to control people in the past and change the future and stop the apocalypse and maybe kill everyone else in the other timelines and make sure the new timeline, the good one, is the only one that exists. And maybe that's what Alita meant by save their world. The inspector was great, funny, and intimidating. And her sidekick is awesome too. <laughs> her dialogue was fantastic, but extremely hard to edit. Tommy is not long for this world. <laughs> I keep saying it because it's true. He's going to die. This was a good one. The next two is when everything is going to explode and fall apart. And I'm excited for that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye.